Pixel OS is back on my Redmi Note 10 Pro, but this time it is Android 14. I have been using this ROM for almost 2 weeks now and it has been working fine so far. In this video, I'll show you some of the top features of Pixel OS that might help you decide if you want to flash it onto your device. And we're going to start with the battery backup because it has been exceptionally well so far and the screen on time is excellent. So you're going to be very happy with the battery performance here. Now this ROM is running on Android 14 so you get the latest and greatest Android features. I thought to show you some of them in this video and let's start with the improved privacy where you will see a new interface that will allow you to pick only selected photos to make sure the application does not access all your media. In the beginning of this video, I already mentioned about the excellent battery performance of Pixel OS. That's actually one of the features of Android 14. So you are probably going to see an improved battery performance with most Android 14 custom ROMs. Another important feature is the notification flashes which is going to be very helpful in a noisy situation where you might not be able to hear a notification. This is also going to be helpful for differently abled people with improper hearing. To enable notification flashes on Pixel OS, you can head over to settings, then accessibility and turn on camera flash or screen Screen flash. Another excellent feature is the application pairing that will allow you to use applications in pairs while you are using the split screen. You can minimize or maximize the applications together and this feature might not be that useful for smartphones but it is going to be an excellent one for Android tablets. One of the major features of Android 14 is the lock screen customization that is going to provide a bunch of lock screen clocks and you can also add shortcuts at the lower corners. In addition to lock screen customization, you also get a generative AI system for creating wallpapers which is automatic right now but manual options might be added soon. Another excellent customization feature that you get here is the emoji wallpapers that will let you select three things emoji, pattern and a dominant color and combining all this together will let you create an interactive wallpaper with your favorite emoji. The last Android 14 feature that I am going to talk about is the font size and the scale has been increased here where it can go up as high as 200%. Even though you can access this under display settings but you also get a quick tile if you want an easy access. Well that's all I am going to talk about Android 14 features that you get with Pixel OS. But apart from that you do get something extra like an option to force 120Hz refresh rate if you want everything to feel smooth but that might cost you a little bit extra battery. And how can we miss the MIUI camera which is one of the most important features of Pixel OS. I tested almost everything and it is running smoothly. You also get an inbuilt updater that's also one of the best features present here. Regarding banking applications, you should be able to use them without any issues. I have seen many comments about call recording. Well, Pixel OS comes with Google Dialer and call recording is present and it works fine. Under network settings, you get all the features that should be actually present and I did not face any issues here. The fingerprint sensor is super fast but I could not find the face unlocking here. The sound section is another important feature and you get Dolby Atmos here but there is no MI sound enhancer so you have to adjust with that for now. And that was the video guys. Please let me know if you are going to flash Pixel OS on your device or you will be trying any other Android 14 custom ROM. And if this is your first time on this channel, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.